All right, so we are kind of done for the first section here. We have a post showing. We have a categories on the right side. We got a categories on the top, a navigation area. We got a search engine working. We have a widget that uh, re some reusable code here that we can use as wid as a widget. Um, what we need is, and this would probably be in the course later on. It, it actually, it will be later on because. The original CMS system has a, a login system. We're going to create another part of the sidebar here to log in to our system, even though this one, the template doesn't have that. We're going to create one, all right? And we're also going to be creating a registration page. But that's that's like an extra feature, and we will be doing that. But right now, we don't need to do that. I'm more concerned about doing things from the admin area right now and being able to create this without going manually and putting data in there. All right, so I want to be able to create this automatically, all this data here. So for that, we need to go to the admin side. So if you type in here admin after the CMS folder, you're going to be redirected directed to the index.php in the admin folder, right? And this is the admin for that. And we can see that it has a whole bunch of fields here. Of course, none of them work. This is just for this demonstration purposes only. And we're going to be cleaning up some of these files, uh, content here, elements and things like that. So let's go ahead and do that right now. As a matter of fact, the first thing that we need to do is add a, a little link right here. So that way we don't have to keep typing this all the time. So let's open our brackets editor right here. And let's go ahead and let's go to navigation. And we are displaying all the navigations from here. But let's add another link here when we finish this PHP code right here. Let's just uncomment this out. And I did that by pressing command forward slash. And I'm just going to comment this other out. And I'm just going to leave this on here. Make sure we have that there available. I'm just going to type in admin there. And this should be admin here also. So let's see that. Oops. We have a little thing there. We click on it. It takes us to the admin. Let's make sure that it's capitalized, at least in the beginning here, so it looks better. All right. So we don't have to, and now we, what, we, what I want to do also is that I don't have, I don't want to keep typing the index either. So I'm going to put a link here somewhere to take me to that website. I mean, to that homepage, right? So that is in index in the admin folder right here, index. We have to organize all this data, by the way. But let me just put that link here somewhere if I can find what it is. It's John Smith. So what I'm gonna do if I can't find data like this, I'm gonna I'm gonna type in command F to see if this editor has a find feature and it does. And I'm just gonna type in John there. John. And he found it right here. It was, it was right in front of me all this time. So John has some type some data there with him. And that's an envelope there of type in John. If I right click on it and inspect element with Google Chrome, I can see that this data here ends in a nav bar right here. It has a drop down. And then I'm just analyzing to see where I'm going to be placing this, this link, right? We have a lot of information here. I don't want to make a mistake and then mess everything up. I think this is the data right here. So I'm going to put a link. This item right here. And I'm just going to say, I want you to take me back to index.php. And that two dots is just going to take me back there. Uh, let's save it first. Refresh. Refresh here. And that did not do anything because I think we put it somewhere else. And let's go back to it. Let's just right click on it and see where we are.
we need to be and this little bird here is just trying playing hard to get nav bar tough top right top all right so let's take this out of here it looks like it's not here it looks like it but I see it there and if we go ahead and of course it's not, not we won't be able to see it. it is there actually but we won't be able to see it unless we put something in there right <laughs> so um, website home page home site site I'm just gonna put home site for now and as you can see here it's gonna take us back there and I can go back to admin there all right perfect all right so let's clean up the this page really quick because we're running out of time here and let's check out let's do the same thing we did in the other and on the other folder and home page and let's make a includes folder here actually not a file keep making files let's take that off In, inside admin I'm gonna delete this actually right click on it folder called includes includes all right and inside includes I'm gonna right click and make a file called header dot PHP make another file called footer dot PHP there we go let's go back to the index there we go we are inside admin all right so this is the admin admin index and let's get this out of here let's make an include and I didn't just take it off I took it off with command X or control F alright so just in case you just take it off and don't copy it don't make that mistake um, I mean you take it off and don't copy it make sure that you take it off with command X or right click on it or whatever you need to do to have that data there don't lose it or control Z just to undo that stuff alright include and let's just include the, let's make sure that we put the folder where it is includes the header that PHP right now it doesn't have anything just save it come back to the header boom and then let's go back to that file and let's take out the footer a lot of data is here you see why I want to go ahead and take get rid of some of this stuff here and let's find the footer let's just minimize this a little bit and this footer it looks complicated right container fluid is because we don't have a regular footer for this admin page this is the ID wrapper of everything and this should be the footer right here subheading dashboard actually let's go back to admin because we have a lot of you see this is not even it doesn't even have a footer so that all that data there was just content there it's content from navigation mostly but this here is the ID wrapper this is the whole ID wrapper for the whole thing navigation and all and I just want this to be like the content basically so can say page heading that's actually not a page heading that's something else this is taking us all the way down to the wrapper that's the wrapper wanna go here there we go and this could be maybe the page counter or something keep taking the wrapper where we go all right so this would be the footer of this all right so let's take this out and let's convert it into the footer right here save it come back to index and let's use this function here the same thing down here and let's just say footer 
here if we change this this is you can see that that is here alright so we got the heading here and we're just gonna put whatever now for the heading something like uh, welcome to admin all right and this would be probably the author name and we're gonna do some dynamic data here later on we're gonna input it here okay so we're gonna take this breadcrumb out of here all right not gonna need that let's take this out too All right, so I think we're done actually right now. This is where we're going to be putting some of this data. Come here, now we got that. All right, we're not going to be putting anything here now. Just know that we are just organizing some of this stuff. And let's go ahead and take out some of this navigation really quick. And it's a lot of navigation, right? This is navigation right here. Really huge navigation. Let's just make sure that that's the navigation. Let's just take it out of here, all of it. A lot of navigation. Jeez, right? Right click on here again and scroll this navigation. Actually, not even gonna make this file here we need to put it in includes actually I hit right click on it and call this navigation.php enter perfect let's paste that in there perfect let's go back to index let's use that function to include that navigation this looks a lot better now right we got that out of the way navigation PHP all right so a lot better than before so anyway I think I'm gonna just uh, end the video here and we're gonna continue some of this stuff later in another video anyway thank you so much for watching this and uh, we are done for now but we will be doing some more uh, structuring and organizing some of this in the in the background here in the administration area right thank you again and see you in the next lecture take care